all animals. Python suffocates alligator in underwater wrestling match. Alligators in South Florida haven't evolved to anticipate having to tangle with humongous snakes from Southeast Asia. But with the influx of Burmese pythons in the Everglades over the past decade, they'd better learn some self-defense and fast. On the morning of December 21st, journalist Joe Capozzi was riding his bike when he heard some commotion coming from a swamp up ahead. What he saw shocked the hell out of him. A six-foot alligator, belly up and fighting for its life as a 15-foot python coiled itself around the gator's body. Capozzi wasted no time grabbing his smartphone to record the intense encounter. He recalls that while the gator would pop up from the water every few minutes, the snake had total control over it, tightening its grip and robbing it of air until it finally stopped moving. Capozzi says the scene looked like an alligator trapped in a stack of tires underwater. After watching for roughly 10 minutes, a clear winner having emerged, he continued on his bike ride and published a piece about what he saw two weeks later. Burmese pythons have invaded Florida's ecosystem over the past decade. The result of irresponsible exotic pet owners and the destruction of a python breeding facility in 1992 caused by Hurricane Andrew. More than 2,000 of the snakes have been removed from the area, but at the rate they breed, Floridians better hope their adult alligators enjoy the taste of python. Otherwise, this will become an even more familiar sight, and it's not a good look. Want to see more animals at war? Be our guest. Giant crocodile takes on bull shark. An 18-foot monster crocodile named Brutus is the most famous resident of the Adelaide River in Australia's Northern Territory. The photogenic reptile, believed to be more than 80 years old, is famous for his missing front leg. Legend has it that Brutus lost the limb in a shark attack long ago. Earlier this week, the croc took revenge on his razor-toothed nemesis in front of an audience of about 25 people on a cruise. They came to the murky waters of the Adelaide to view the jumping crocs, but they didn't expect any sharks. Brutus wrapped his chompers around the 1.5 meter bull shark and brought it up to the delight of the crowd. Cameras ready, the cruise group started snapping pictures of Brutus as he carried the still living shark to land. Brutus then took it back into the water to shake it around a bit before heading into the mangroves to protect his prey. The shark was a departure from the croc's usual diet of buffalo meat. It just shows, for an old croc, Brutus is pretty quick, said Morgan Bowman, operator of the cruise. Hunter saves Bambi from being snake chow. It's not often you see a hunter saving a poor defenseless animal, but that's exactly what this Miami dude did after seeing a deer in need. The white-tailed deer was spotted by a massive python that was looking for lunch in the Everglades. By the time Jimmy Wilson stumbled upon the Nat Geo-worthy scene, the snake had wrapped itself around the deer and was about to chow down. He took out a phone to record his find and then quickly set out to rescue the poor animal. He fired at the snake to scare it away and eventually killed it with a few more shots. With the python out of the way, Wilson turned his attention to the day's deer and soon managed to help the frightened creature get up and ready. Phew, all in a day's work. The battle for North American supremacy. American Eagle versus Canada Goose. Canadian photographer Lisa Bell recently found herself witnessing the majesty of nature up close. Early on the morning of June 3rd, while vacationing on Vancouver Island, she caught the sight of a bald eagle descending upon an unsuspecting Canada goose. Scrambling for her camera, she managed to photograph the remarkable tussle of these two feathered foes. The eagle, maybe a bit too cocky with its catch, left the door open for the goose to duck out from underneath. And the Canuck didn't take the opportunity for granted, making a break for it as fast as his wings could flap. Sensing the water was where he might hold the advantage, he dove into a nearby pond and got himself to safety, minus a few scratches and bruises, no doubt. In instances like these, it matters not who lost the fight, for being able to live to fly another day in the face of certain death is, some would say, the ultimate win. The loser in this case would appear to be the arrogance of the superior fighter, who could only exit the ring knowing he alone let the glory slip through his talents.